This is the first video in section 6, adding a second screen, the dashboard. In the last section, we looked at performance optimization and how to debug our code with the React dev tools. In this section, we're going to take a look at adding a dashboard screen, which means having to consider additional URLs as well as a line chart. We'll look at URLs and routing with React Router. We need to add an additional screen to our application. It's the dashboard. But before we get to that, we need to think about URLs. URLs are very important in any web application. In the past, they've often been forgotten in single page applications, but with tools like React Router, the most popular router for React, it's a breeze to get going. React Router provides a set of utility functions and components so that we can compose our routes. Routes are essentially the URLs we want to support. Routes are attached to a top level component so that we can have slash orders to render the orders component and slash dashboard to render our dashboard. I've already set up the node server to be able to handle slash orders and slash dashboard in addition to the root, as well as the simple dashboard component. Let's quickly install React Router from NPM. I'm using the beta version since at the time of this recording, that's the only one supporting the 014 beta version of React. When this video comes out, both of those should be in final releases. If we look at the docs, we can see how we can set up React Router within our application. We'll copy the imports in as well as the compose route components, which we'll modify in a second. We want to use push date, which allows for proper URLs instead of hash based routing. Let's modify the code to render into the anchor and use React DOM and import the two major components, dashboard and orders, in addition to the app component. Notice how the routes are composed with the app component on top and each route with a component. Slash dashboard with a dashboard component and slash orders with the orders component. If we transpile and refresh our browser, we can see that everything still works. Though the dashboard page renders the orders component instead of the dashboard component. This is because we hard coded the orders component in the app component. We can simply replace that with the children, transpile, and we're good to go. React Router will make sure that the correct component is passed as a child to app. Finally, we want to ensure that the links in the top right work and the correct menu item is marked active for the correct page. We need to remove the should component update function from the main header to allow this component and main nav to update. In main nav, we'll use link for React Router and point it to the correct URL. Transpiling it and looking in the browser shows the links working with the correct item marked active. In this video, we learned about URLs and routing with React Router. In the next video, we'll add a line chart with D3 to our dashboard.